Hey, what's up, guys? If you're like some of us out there, you might got a brand new Chromebook over here. But you probably have an old PC with all your music and files on it. Well, I'm going to show you now how to get some of your pictures and music from your old laptop to your brand new Chromebook. First thing first, get a USB stick, plug it into your laptop. You guys already know how to do that. It'll pop up, like always. Now, for pictures, I already have some pictures in a folder I already copied earlier because a lot of pictures. So, as you can clearly see, it'll take a second. There's a picture. So, you want to get these pictures over to your new Chromebook. Just drag and drop them, obviously, right onto the SD card like you normally would. Now, of course, just like the pictures, I dropped, uh, dragged over MP3 folder, and I'm going to bring it over to the Chromebook. This is the easy stuff. The question is, where do we put the stuff on the Chromebook over here? So just give it one second. It'll copy the 60 megabyte. Uh, we'll skip this file, whatever that is, and plug it out. We're going to go over to the Chromebook. Now, we plug the same USB stick inside of the Chromebook right here. Just give it a moment, it's going to pop right up, screen, and then you're going to get a USB drive. You see MP3s and you see P, that's not picture folder, and the PS3 is just a backup data. So in this folder right here, we have a bunch of pictures, lots and lots of pictures in here. But and where do we put these pictures? Do you put them, there's no start menu, if you press down here, if you press down, it's just going to bring you to Google Chrome. You can't drag and drop them to the desktop. Only options are Google Drive and downloads. Well, if you have a Google Drive account, you can just all drag them up to Google Drive, but you only get a limit to 100 gigabytes. That's great for some, but some people will go over 100 gigabytes like it's nothing. I would. So what you need to actually do is go to your download folder. You need to right click, new folder, and call it music. This, this folder in your downloads is actually your file directory. So you make your music folder, they make another one for your pictures. In this game, we're just going to call it PIC. There. Now we got two folders. Now this saves directly to your hard drive and not actually to your Google Drive online. So even if you don't have internet, you can still access your pictures and music. So here, you can click here. See all your musics? There you go. Just select all. Click. Drag over to downloads. Hold for a moment. You get to music. Get to the folder and open up, drag. It will start. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I did not do it all right. There. Drag it, let go. It'll start copying over all the folds to the hard drive inside your cool Chromebook. So you could use these files offline. Of course, you could always drag these files over to the Google Drive if you set that up and once it's in the Google Drive, hold on, I actually carried it to the same place again. Oh, wrong one. Let's see if it's there. One second, I'm trying to show you the Google Drive. Sorry about this. Drag it over to the Google Drive folder and just drag it and drop it. Now, if you drag it, do put it on your Google Drive, and you still want to actually access it offline, make sure you click Available Offline. That little tab will make sure the file is available online and offline, and you'll be able to click the file and be able to play both online and offline right from your Google Drive or from any PC you can access Google. Now, the same thing goes for music. So you just click back over to your USB drive. Here are the pictures. Now, you can click in, open up all the pictures if you want. There's a picture of a PS3 controller. But we don't want to always have to use a USB drive, so let's just go back real quick. We'll take the folder, go over to Downloads, wait a few seconds, go back to Downloads right here. Wait a few seconds. Oh, hold on. Let's just click here, go to Picks. Go back, sorry about that. Grab the whole entire folder. Now, of course, you could just copy and paste, but I just want to show you this way. And up here at the status bar, it'll say copying. Once it finishes copying, you'll have all your files from your old computer in a directory, basically just like a normal computer. 
Now you do the same thing with Google Drive and just click the offline mode to have your, both your pictures and music online and offline. So this is just a quick starting tip. It might took a few seconds for some people to find out where you can actually save stuff to. So it's definitely in your downloads folder. It's not another folder. It's not in an app. This is where you want to go if you want to save something locally to your hard drive. So that's how you do it. If you want to copy your music and pictures right from your old computer from an SD card, this is how you would do it. And just as you can see, the pictures that are added from the SD cards will come up in a few seconds. Even if I turn off Wi-Fi using the keyboard shortcut, I should be able to access them. Just give it a second to load. And there you go. You have a picture of a basically PS3 controller. Thanks for watching, guys. Be back with more tutorials.